All right, dude, it's me, Z, and today I wanna to talk about the Nintendo Switch Pro. Now, recently there have been rumors popping up all over the place saying that the Switch Pro will be coming out in early 2021, and there's little doubt that Nintendo will be releasing some new hardware next year. People have been speculating the Pro will be a new, beefier Switch with a 4K screen, bigger display, more comfortable Joy-Cons to compete in a next-gen world. But my prediction is that the Switch Pro will be a dedicated home console and will only be around 100 bucks. It'll have slightly better visuals and more consistent frame rates and will be bundled with the Pro Controller. If you wanna hear the full prediction, I'll have that video linked right here so you can watch it. But today, I wanna talk more about why this version of the Switch Pro is more likely and why a new portable Switch Pro will not be happening. Come with me for a sec. Nintendo, oddly enough, seems to be following a particular model when it comes to the Switch family of systems. They made a wise choice by combining their home console and handheld markets together, and this paid off with more than 65 million consoles sold to date. And this is before Christmas 2020. Then they released the riskier Switch Lite, a handheld-only Switch that many people were not asking for, but even though it took courage to release, the Switch Lite has proved popular and worthwhile for Nintendo, with over 10 million sold in one year of release. So if Nintendo releases the Switch Pro, the system would need to differentiate itself somehow, and the clear answer is a more powerful system. Power, wisdom, courage. Wisdom to combine their two markets, courage to release the Switch Lite, and power for the Switch Pro. Power, wisdom, courage. Power, wisdom, courage. Now, where have I heard that before? The Triforce. Nintendo is making its very own Switch Triforce of systems, and there's only one piece of the puzzle left. Power. So you may be thinking, but Z, we already know the Switch Pro is coming. You are the one who thinks that it won't be a 4K big screen portable with ray tracing. If Nintendo is going for power, they will go full blast. And hear me out, hear me out. Nintendo doesn't want to segregate its massive Switch user base by making a console that dwarfs the other Switches. They want every game to be played by every kind of Switch owner. Why have a few million people buy your game when over 65 million people can? The Triforce is more powerful with all the pieces together, if you will. So since my theory is about 100% correct, the next question is what will the Switch Pro look like practically? My thought is that it'll look like a little box, not much bigger than a Game Boy Advanced or kind of similar to a PlayStation TV, and this will help them cut the cost of the screen, the detachable Joy-Cons, HD Rubble, and all that fluff. All that should put it at the low, low price of $99. Now I could see it coming in at the highest of 150 bucks, but I think Nintendo wants to keep this in impulse buy range. This will help it compete with the next-gen consoles as being such a low price point will get people involved in the Switch ecosystem a lot easier. And that's why I think the price has to stay this low. So I can't imagine it being much higher than this. This whole system will work great for multiple Switch owners as well. Using cloud saves to pass save data across multiple systems. I mean, you could have a Switch Pro permanently hooked up to the TV with a light or an OG Switch for portable play. This keeps the whole Switch nature still intact. The only real question left then is, when will we see this version of the Switch Pro? Now just taking a wild guess, which all of my wild guesses turn out to be correct, check out this video right here, it will launch with Breath of the Wild 2. To be specific, the Pro and Breath of the Wild 2 will come out just in time for Christmas 2021, earliest September, latest November of next year. So that's it, dude. Now I know I'm crushing all the dreams of those who want to see an uber powerful Switch Pro Max Super Saiyan 3 with a candy dispenser. So leave all the tears in the comments section below. Tell me how wrong or right I am there and leave a like on this video if you liked it. And make sure to subscribe and share this theory with your fellow Nintendo brothers and sisters. All right, dude, I'll talk to you later. Yeah.